Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is Tag Me Tuesday, but first, let's have our shout out to Diane, Dorothy, ex Cajun Grandma, the Tiny Food HD, Lori, Christine, Debbie, Carol, Rosalina, Amu, and Lala Gamma. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, today we're going to make an easy collar style pocket. But first, I'd like to tell you that I've restocked my Etsy shop. Some of you have been asking. I put that adorable CD journal over there. So you can pick that up for a gift or for yourself if you're interested. I have five of the bags and I decorated them a little bit more. And inside I have finished pieces of ephemera. I have five of these over there. I have the altered file folder that is the B journal. Look how beautiful. I used the flowers in it. Oh my goodness, you guys, it turned out spectacular. I'm not going to go through it. I'm just going to give you a taste. There you go. There's your taste of that one in case you're interested. And then if for any of you that are making fall journals, I have this fall packet. I have five of the fall packets. Now, when you go to the Etsy shop, yes, there's the shaker cards. Each one has one of those shaker cards. You're not going to be able to choose which packet you want. It's going to be first come, first serve, right off the top. I'm going to start handing them out. So jump on over there if you're interested. There's that bag. There's an envelope, a pumpkin envelope. There's material. There is a book page. There's another tag and another tag and the shaker card. And then there's four yards of eyelash trim and some other pieces of ephemera. Anyway, they're over there if you're interested. Enough of that. Let's get right on to the video for today. And what are we going to make? Um, we're going to make those easy collar style pockets. Now, these are regular store-bought envelopes. Now, but you can use a used envelope if you want. You don't have to use brand new ones. And you can use any size you want. Now, I have been making them out of this size right here. And this one happens to be six and a half by three and a half is what this one is. And what we want to do is we want to open it up and we want to glue it shut right away. We're just going to glue this thing shut just like this. So now it's shut and I have a piece of printed paper. I am going to cover this with it. Now I want my pocket to go up and down but you can also make them long ways like this. This one I'm going to go up and down. So because this is a pattern. I want to make sure that my music is up and down. So I am going to first put my glue, and I am using my Tombow glue. I'm just going to place my glue on one side of my envelope, like this, and I'm going to put it right down here at the bottom at the corner. Okay, I'm going to press it down. Okay, just like that. Wipe that extra that's coming off. Wipe that off. And then I'm going to, where are my scissors? Right here. I'm going to trim this right here. And it's not you know, right at the edge, but that's going to be okay. And I'm going to fold this over. So I'm actually completely covering this envelope. Okay, so I'm going to add my glue. And I am going to just completely cover my envelope. Just like that. And I'm going to press this down. Okay. 
Okay, and I do have some glue that's come out. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to trim. So I'm just going to trim this off right here. I'm not doing a very good job. Got kind of wet, I think. And then I'm going to trim this. Hopefully not get in the edge of that. All right, so now we look like this, and we're completely covered. So the next thing I'd like to do is I am going to... All right, so I am going to have my opening on this side. Now, you can have it on this side if you want. It doesn't matter. That's person, personal preference. But I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to cut this open just like this this. Just cut this open. There we are. Now we have an opened envelope and I am going to add some book page. So I'm going to fold my book page in half and I'm just going to trim this. I'm not going to completely fill my inside of my envelope with book page, although you can if you want. I'm just going to add a little bit inside, and I'm just kind of eyeballing it to see where I need to trim the end off, about right there. And I'm going to see if this fits in nicely, and it does. So I like this side because it's complete. This one has a little paragraph here. So I'm going to add my glue right onto this part right here. Okay. And I'm going to stick it inside my pocket, my envelope, my open envelope, which is now going to be my pocket. And I'm just going to tap it down, see if I can get it tapped down. Get that to... There we go. Okay, so we've got that part taken care of. I'm going to use my bone folder. I'm just going to make sure that it's definitely stuck on the inside. Now I'm going to glue in the other side the exact same way. All right, so I have my book page inside. Now see, you can tell that I didn't go all the way down, but I just chose not to. So now I'm going to take my vintage photo, and I'm going to ink the inside. Now, I find it to be easier if I do it, if I do this step now. I just, that's just after making a few, I just think this is easier. Now, if you don't ink, that's okay too, but I'm going to take this opportunity to just go around the edge and tell you what is Tag Me Tuesday. It's a Facebook group that I have that I invite you all to join. You're able to post your version of Tag Me Tuesday's video, so I invite you to post your version of the collar style pockets. And the only thing that you need to do is answer the question um, about the rules, and the rules are very simple. Be nice to everybody, and there's no selling. That's all there is to it. If you don't answer that question and say, yes, you agree to it, then unfortunately I won't, <laughs> I won't be able to accept you into the group. And I, don't, I want to be able to accept everyone. And I understand that you do kind of have to look for that question. So make sure if you click the link down below in this video, then you can join. Actually, that link is in every video that I make recently. I should say, <laughs> recently. Okay, so here we are. We've got it inked. We've got our book page in. We've got it completely covered. The next thing I want to do is I want to find the center of this. So I'm just going to go in, and the center's right here. I did say I wanted it to be on this side. Now, 
taken our scissors, we've opened it up, and stick my scissors inside. So I'm not cutting both sides, I'm just cutting one side. And I'm going to cut it down. Oh, how far is that? I'm not sure. Um, it's not quite two. It's almost two inches. Let's go ahead and do two. I think that's two. It's close to two. All right. So now we're like this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink this now. And I'm going to ink this side. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do, this is still wet, so I wish it wasn't so wet. But anyway, I'm going to take my piece right here, one side of it, and I'm going to have this, I'm going to have this cut be this way. So we're opening this up and folding it straight across. We're going straight across. Okay, just like that. All right, and we're going to take the other side and we're going to fold it. And we're going to go straight across right here. Just like that. Hence the name, it goes this way, hence the name collar shirt collar style I should say collar style pocket looks like a collar doesn't it and so I'm going to get my ink and I'm going to ink my crease right here now this is the way I would like mine to go if you want you can glue these little collars down if you want or you can leave them up it's your choice let me bring in a few things to see what we can decorate with. I have a shabby dabby doodah umbrella. I thought that would be super cute to put with the music. So I'm thinking I want it to be well, maybe something like that. I have some wax seals. This I'm just not too sure about. I'm just I just brought a bunch of different things together to see what I might like. I'm not sure, maybe I can bring that down a little bit. And I have some shabby dabby doodah bows. They're super cute with the umbrella. Let's see which one I think I like. I think I like that one. Oh, and I have a, hmm, what's that called, a rivet? Ah, uh, I always say the wrong word. <laughs> I always say the wrong word. Whatever that dealy thing is, that thing with the hole and you use that machine to clamp it on. Let's get this on first. So, because I know I'm not making a whole lot of sense right now. So, let's get this umbrella on where we want it. I think I want it down below. Okay. And then I want this little bow. I want that on there. I think that's adorable. Okay. And then, what do I want to do? I've got a label. I have some buttons. I've got a wax seal. How about if I just put some buttons here and a label? Oh, I like that. That's super cute. Or do I want this label? It actually supposedly says umbrella. I'm not sure because I think it's French. And that might be super cute like that. Do I like it that way or do I like it this way? Nope, I like the blue one. All right, I'm going to actually take my Sharpie with the chiseled edge, and I'm going to just go like this to it, just to pop, make this label pop a little more. And then I think I'm going to let's put the rivets in real quick, or whatever that thing's called. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and let's get our buttons glued on. I'm using my hot glue gun, I'm putting enough glue on here that the glue comes right through the holes. That way the glue will be able to hold that button on tightly. I went ahead and put some thread in there and I tied a little bow on that one. 
I also added a little bit of glue so that they won't come untied. And let's add our label right here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and bring in our little tool here that's going to help us attach this. And I think I want it down below. So I'm going to just use my hole punch and I'm going to punch my hole. And then I'm going to add my little, whatever this thing's called, a rivet? I hope so. It's not a brad, so it must be a rivet. Okay, so I'm going to attach it just like this. All right, so now it's attached. So cute, right? I have a light bulb pin, and I have a little blue tassel here. I thought that would be real sweet. We add that right like this. And I have three blue gems that I'm going to actually put right here in the corner. I grab a pin to help me pick it up off the glass mat. Slip it right into position here. There we go. Come on now. You have to cooperate. And one more. Move it over closer, maybe it would help. There we go. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? Now there you go. Isn't that a cute pocket? Now, you can use it as a hinge, a pocket on a hinge. You could make yourself a hinge on this side, and then it would flip. Okay, you could do that. You could glue it on to three sides and then have another tuck spot. You could do that. You could glue it directly onto a page and you can do this too. You could decorate it up whatever way you want. You could use it to put money in it as a gift for maybe a birthday or Christmas or graduation or on and on, whatever you'd like to use it for. Here's some more that I made. Now see, I made this one go the long way. It has a mushroom and butterflies and the label, and it has a tassel right there. It's a red gem tassel, a gem, a red stone. <laughs> and then this one goes this way. It's in the lavenders. Oh, my goodness. And then there's this one that's kind of pink with the flowers. Oh, you guys, I think these are absolutely fantastic. I hope you agree. And if you do, please give this video a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.